We are the Ninos. We are the number one sales team in America without a doubt. And we rock with Nevo, the greatest sales force in the world. What do we stand for? We don't give up. We don't quit. We run sh We are the top dogs. And we never, ever lose because we hate to lose. We always win. Ninos! Get it. Let's get it, let's get it. All right, guys, we are out here somewhere in Texas. Welcome back to the Snapper Academy in Nevo. I want you guys to meet Mr. Reese right here. This guy's next, and uh, you got the theme of the Blitz, bro. Tell me what the theme of the Blitz is. Standing on bitten it. Tell me what that means, bro. So, basically, every day we wake up, every morning, you know, you're sitting down, you're walking, you're standing. Anytime you're up, you're on business. You got to be active. You got to be doing one thing, 1% better every day. You're standing on bitten it. All right, guys, so as always, if you guys want to be a part of the greatest sales force on planet Earth, click the link in the bio, and let's head into the morning meeting, guys. Honestly, dude, I'm like super, super stoked with what you guys are building here with the Ninos. I've never seen anything like it. What you guys are building is different, so everybody just give it up for yourself, super. honestly. With us coming in here, I could just sit up here, I could tell you all these incredible things, I could give you guys all these word tracks, and I could tell you guys about our experience, I could tell you guys where the industry's going, but I think the biggest thing is like for us to really come together as like this family that we are, and to like co-create together, right? And together, right, we can go so far, guys. We're gonna close 10 deals today, that's our goal, minimum five, right? Over the next year, this team right here is gonna do $50 million. Let that sink in, that's crazy. It's not that hard, right? But we have to look at it and say like, hey, this is where we're going. What we gotta do is do what we gotta do today, right? And so the biggest thing is like, there's so many different things, right? It's not just one thing that makes you successful in solar and in the daughter industry. It's a culmination of everything, right? It's how we talk, it's how we walk, it's it's how we're dressed, right? It's, you know, making sure that we're, we're, we're looking good. It's like, if we're going to the door and telling the homeowner that we're a professional, we gotta actually look like we're a professional. You have to believe that it's possible. You have to tell yourself, like Skylar was saying, that you're him. You have to tell yourself, and the way that you do that is by looking at what other people are doing, right? And if you see other teams that are doing, you know, 500 installs a month, like why can't we do 100 installs a month, right? If you see people that are going out there and making a million dollars in the industry, a hundred thousand dollars a month, like why can't I do a hundred thousand dollars in a month, right? We've got our goal and our quest that we're about to be on for the next 48 hours. Serious. We're going to make this team proud, and we're going to accomplish our quest. We're gonna do good business, we're gonna have good conversations, and we're gonna keep our energy at a, at a high at all times, and we're gonna go out there, we're gonna make our families proud, we're gonna make this team proud, and we are gonna create a billion dollar team right here, right now. We're a group of success-driven individuals, we compete at the highest level, and we believe it's our duty and our obligation to succeed, all right? Let's go, Nino on me, Nino's on three. One, two, three, Nino's! It's always such a vibe being in the hood and you hear the birds chirping and the freaking dogs barking and you're just like nature. Hello, how are you doing today? Pretty good, how are y'all? Pretty good, appreciate you asking. I just got a couple guys we're doing some training with real quick. You're, you're the homeowner I'm guessing? Yes. Awesome, so the reason we're stopping by, we'll make you super short, just cut to the chase for you, is because a lot of your neighbors have been calling us the last couple months while we've been doing some of the projects out here. Have you had anybody from Nevo come by to let yes. you know about the, uh, the electricity rates going up? I'm sure you've seen it all over the news. A lot of the neighbors have been looking into the solar. It used to be really, really expensive to do it. You would have had to take all this money out of pocket, um, whereas now you don't. Have you heard about the new program? Or um, it's kind of a big decision, yeah. right? Do you know about how much your like lowest bill for electricity is during the winter time, and then like maybe the high bill in the summer? That's obviously something that we know it's going to keep going up. And so what our goal is to do is to get that rate locked in. We're the actual installation company, but our whole goal is just to create the most like smartest energy efficient home possible mm -hmm. and help you save on the electric bill so you never have another two or 300 bill again. My job is to come out here and you're kind of like, I don't know if the rates are gonna go up and you're like sucking on your lollipop, like I'm gonna go to solar someday, you know? Yeah. But my job is just to take that lollipop, throw it in the dirt and say, hey, look, like it's gonna go up. We know it's gonna go up and whether you guys do it or not, it's totally up to you. But like after our quick conversation, it's like you'll probably take a second look at it because these rates are gonna go up. I mean, I don't want to say you guys are like doomed if you don't go solar, but the reality of it is the cost of doing nothing is upwards of $50,000 that you're going to just burn and give away to the utility company. Whereas you could take half of that, redirect it back into the value of your home and be saving tens of thousands of dollars over the next five to 10 years. You've literally won the solar lottery by not having it and still being able to get it because these incentives are going to run out like two, three years from now, even if somebody begged or cried for it, they wouldn't be able to get it just because like these incentives, like they've allocated a certain amount to help one third of homeowners do it. And then it's like, once a neighborhood gets it, like that's it, they just, we just go to the next neighborhood at that point. When would be a good time for us to 
kind of like swing by and just show you guys what that looks like and see if we can help you guys out. People love to be able to get like distracted from their work. I'm gonna do the pullback, wait, pullback. All right, cool, that's good. Hey, what's going on, man? You the uh, owner of this house right here? Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'll be real quick. Company called Nevo. I'm just going around, talking to all the homeowners. Are you able to turn that off for two seconds just so we can explain it real quick? Primo. <laughs> Appreciate you. So pretty much, uh, we do the solar in the area. I know you've probably seen some of the projects going up and stuff like that. Have you uh, ever sat with someone, seen what like your numbers would be and stuff like that for solar? So pretty much with the uh, solar program we got going on, all we're trying to do is cut out all the delivery fees that you're seeing, drop your bill, and it locks you in. So you won't be seeing them 180 bills no more or nothing like that. We lock you in and you know what you're gonna be able to pay every month so you can manage your money a little bit better. So pretty much, do you have a bill on you by chance? So yeah, we're just in the area for a little bit. And, um, what I'm gonna do is, do you know where your electric meter's at? It's over there on the side. Do you mind walking me to it? Come on. The last three or four people, only one person was able to qualify for it because it's a very selective program where we cover all the upfront costs. You guys do actually have the CL200, 240, 3W, 60HZ, which is exactly what we're looking for. So they just updated this meter. It used to be that you could only pull from the grid where you're consuming power every single month. You use a certain amount of energy and then that's how they charge you, right? Have you noticed the extra charges on there recently because of the winter storm with the delivery fees and the distribution charges and the AEP charge, all the different charges, you've, you've seen that? Yeah. So what we do is we help you produce your own power on site that you own and you never have to rent your power again. Every single month, instead of you consuming power, you're producing it on site, and then this meter runs backwards, and it goes back to the grid, and then you're gonna get a bill that says do not pay. So what our goal is really to do is just to help you reallocate the money that you're paying for electricity, and have you redirect that into ownership. When you get those $200 bills, like that was more than it used to be, right? And so that's why people are kind of taking a second look at this. So what our job is to do is to make sure that the meter's up to date. That was phase one of the program. Phase two of the program is that we conduct these energy reports and just see if it even makes sense. And if it does make sense, then we can kind of show you what the next steps look like. But it's super simple. All we have to do is just take a picture of the meter, which we did right there. And then if you can just grab that um, uh, utility bill with the usage on the bottom left, then we can see if it even makes sense and we can show you what that looks like. They've really made it make sense logically in every single way. The only reason that you wouldn't do it is just if you just don't have enough roof space or if you have trees. So if you look at some of these neighbors over here, like they wouldn't qualify because they are covered in trees. That's why that guy's got that chainsaw right now and he's cutting his tree down. He's, <laughs> he's, he's freaking out. And so how it works then is like when you do produce excess power, then it feeds into the meter and it goes back to the grid. And then your neighbors, they're buying that power. And then you're getting like a negative utility bill. Have, have you ever had a negative utility bill before? Exactly, right? And it's like, it's your power, right? Yeah. So you should be getting those credits. So that's the gist of it. We'd love to help you out. We're, uh, like TJ was saying, really busy, um, okay. but it's literally just 15, 20 minutes, answer any questions you got, see if it's a good fit, and then share what the next steps look like if that's what you guys wanna do. Yeah, it's not a doorstep decision. We don't have it in our UPS truck, you know, the Pinalis, but uh, what we do is just get you the information, put you in the driver's seat, and if it's something that you think is gonna put your family in a better situation financially, then you would do it. There would be no reason why you wouldn't do it. Like, it'd be crazy to not do it. Jose, he's gonna wrap this up. We're gonna go to our next appointment, all right? Okay. Hopefully this works out, all right? Okay. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Is your parents home? Do you mind grabbing them? Just real quick, how's it going? Good, I'm sorry, I'm getting my dog situated. Oh, oh no worries. What kind of dog you got? King Corso. Okay, King Corso. Yeah. One of your neighbors just came by and they were wondering if you guys saw a white chihuahua. No. No, they were looking for a white chihuahua. I was just gonna say though, your son just came to the door and I was really impressed with him. And uh, like, he seems like he's kind of young, but he seems like he's really smart. Yeah. I was like, you the homeowner? He's like, yes. <laughs> um, you, you guys are the homeowners here, I'm guessing? Yes. Awesome, I'll make this super short for you and just cut to the chase. We're working with a few of your neighbors, letting them know about the uh, projects that are going on. There's a demon in here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how are you? Man, I just lost some rock, paper, scissors, shoot, man. I saw that. Yeah, oh, man, you caught me at the wrong time. You want to go? I'd win. All right, let's go. Prove it. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. God, Did man. she win? Oh, she just beat me. All right, let's go. You've probably seen it on the news. It's the uh, the new Green Deal, the Inflation Reduction Act, and they've allocated uh, hundreds of billions of dollars for this new program to help homeowners make the switch away from fossil fuels and carbon emissions. 
I agree with what you're doing. My son just put them in. My older daughter, my other daughter, just put them in. Mm -hmm. So, um, but if if I was 20 years younger, I'd consider it. Yeah, no, I totally hear that. What but I would say to that is, is there any age to be inflation proof? Roof protection, penetration warranty, system guarantee, production guarantee, workmanship cop warranty. What warranty do you have with the utility company right now? Not. Sh all right, guys, so I want to introduce you to somebody that's very special to the family here at SA, and that is Skyler, the leader, the fearless leader of the Nino. So, guys, we all know this is the door to door industry, right? Like, we're just built different. We're cut from a different cloth than everybody else. We got a homeowner here. All right. Hey, what's up, man? We do solar. Has anybody come by and talk to you about that? I'm sure we have, yeah, dude. We're, we're, we're Nevo over on uh, Chadburn, right? Yeah. Um, gotta be just be real, man. Like, where's your panels? What's going on? Well, what don't you like? You rent, you own? No, we own. But congrats, congrats. Yeah. I'm not even gonna play. Like, you're 100% right. Which yeah. it's that's why we're out here filming this is because we want to prove to the world that, like, there's some bad eggs out there that are ruining an amazing thing. Mm -hmm. Solar's beautiful, and if we do it right, it people are just we get letters, Christmas cards, it just doesn't end. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are afraid of debt. That's the biggest thing. Like, dude, I just I can't have that debt. 25 year debt, it's heavy. There's a new option that we have now, where you don't have to have um, you don't have to have debt on your credit anymore. You're not responsible for the panels like you were before. You don't have to maintenance them, home insurance. We take care of all that, and then we just become your utility company essentially. Bar your roof for the production, the factory, and then you just pay a guaranteed lower rate. Honestly, I I agree with that. So um, we got. I'm I'm just out here. I'm just I'm, I just set appointments. I'm not, I'm nothing special. But we got a guy that he's been doing this for a long time. He's not a hard-nosed closer. He just wants to educate and see if it makes sense. If it does, great. If not, man, shake hands. He's not going to beat you up. Um, but let's just give him a chance to show you that a lot of the concerns the society has about solar are just misconceptions of like, you know, the vaccine is all these different misconceptions. No one really knows the truth. Solar is in the same ballpark as that. What we're out here fighting for is to show people like it really is Special. We were in Iceland actually like two weeks ago and the glacier, I'm telling you, it's a 20 million, 20 million year old glacier and it's melted more in the last like what, 100 years or so yeah, than it has in the last 10 million years. So like it's real. Oh yeah, I know. And so for us, it's, it's not about the money. It's, we, it, it means something to us. But if you could give us a time, man, let us sit down for, let him sit down for, his name's Kabani or maybe even Will, right? Let him sit down for 20 minutes. You can sit right here, I don't care. And if the, if the numbers make sense, yeah. you do it. If not, like, at least you know for yourself that you made a good decision. Right. Could you do me that? Sure. Where's uh, Which side of the house is your meter on? Uh, it's in the backyard, actually. Do you mind doing me a favor? Yeah. You have a dog? Yeah, I do. He's a fighter now. Could you take my phone and just snap a picture of your meter? Okay. And then uh, just your power company that you got. And then also, um, we want to make sure you and the wife are home. That's it. Okay. And then, yeah, it's, honestly, I'm Skyler. Um, there's no pressure at all. Okay. We just want to educate people that there is a better option for not just your wallet, but for the world. All right, guys, so like we were saying, this is Skyler, and he just embodies what the door-to-door -door industry is all about, right? You guys saw that firsthand right there. That was amazing. But, bro, let them know what Nino stands for, bro. Let them know what the greatest sales force on the planet Earth stands for, bro. The biggest thing for us with the Ninos is we want to show people that it's, it's okay to be authentic. It's okay to wear the shoes that other people don't agree with. It's, it's okay to have an accent. It's okay to wear clothes or be a certain way or look a certain type of way. Just you gotta be true to yourself and you gotta understand that if you are authentic and you're real and you show your truth, the world will agree with you and it will coincide and give you what you want. If you're going on a negative and you're trying to force something that's not real, what's gonna happen? You're gonna get the same effect. It's, it's, it's physics, it's figure, physics. What you give is what you get. And then, um, so I got that. And then let me get your uh, first name. Adam. Adam, it's a strong American name. The guy that I'm going to send by, he's, he's going to reach out to you before. Okay. We just want to confirm that this is, is good for you. Because we, we only do business if it's a full, truly win-win. If you ever feel like we're forcing you into something that doesn't make sense for you, mm -hmm. we're going to end up getting a bad review, and it's just going to hurt us as a business in the long run. So just be transparent, be open. Mm, how do you feel about uh, 2.30? That'll work. Yeah, 2.30. And then if it goes good, an hour and a half, if it doesn't, a half hour, we, we, we don't care. We just want, our biggest thing is like, dude, there's, it's, it's better than we think. That's yeah. the biggest thing, you know? Before I got into this, I thought solar was a joke. Climate change was ridiculous. It was all greed. But the more we dive into it and like travel the world and see it, like it's, it's real, it's crazy. All right, brother, I'm Skyler. And yeah. then I'll, uh, 
Uh, I'll make sure he's here tomorrow at 2.30 and he'll reach out before, okay? Okay. All right, brother, take it easy. All right, guys, so that right there, that was some Ninos gold. And I liked what you were saying right there about being like real and authentic. And one thing that we learned recently from one of our leaders here at uh, Nevo, hashtag Jake Red. Ooh, that big red. Anything that you guys lost due to being real, authentic, or genuine, you guys didn't have in the first place. It wasn't meant for All you, right. baby. Hey, how's it going, boss man? Pretty good. Hey, we're stopping by just because we're uh, working with a couple neighbors. So before we get out of here, you just want to let a couple more people know what's going on. So super simple what we're showing you is we draw a line down the middle of the paper and we show you your situation with electricity, where it's going. This is what you're looking at over the next 10 years if you don't even have any rate increases and we know that the rates are going up, right? They've gone up, we're in trouble. Electricity rates in Texas have surged over 70% as summer kicks in, natural gas prices have soared and gas generation plants produce the most electricity in the state. And so this is why we're out here just informing homeowners of a new option. So there's an option now where you can actually own it, which you, you know about it, so we've been here before, I think. But um, with how things are playing out, with the feds getting involved in everything, the reason why you didn't lease these is the same reason why you shouldn't lease your power because bro, there's no reason why you should be paying 25, 30 cents a kilowatt, which we're probably two years away from happening. There's just, there's no reason for it. It's BS. It's, it's, it's a cry. I mean, let's be honest, bro. The we climate's happening. Glaciers are melting. They're raising prices. Like we're fighting back. It's our turn. It's our turn to win. You feel me? We got a guy, man. He's been in the business a long time. We're, we're just appointment setters. We're not special. We're just passionate about it, you know, and we're, we're, we're filming a lot of stuff that we're doing because it's a passion project for us and showing homeowners being like, oh, this actually really is a good thing. It's not what people think it is. Seeing the truth behind it, right? If it makes sense, right? Only if it makes sense for you and you qualify, those are the two biggest things. We can move forward to the next step. But worst case scenario, at least you'll get educated properly on what solar really is. And you can just make a decision for yourself versus your neighbors who know someone that has solar telling you not to do it. It's regulated, like we have to be legit, man. We can't lie about this versus, I mean, people are saying there's a lot of faults and stuff, but the problem is with how the market's evolving, we have to be honest. We have to tell the truth. Like we were just in Iceland, I was telling your neighbor over there, and this is crazy. There's a 20 million year old glacier, right? In the last hundred years, I didn't believe in climate change. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a redneck. I'm like, dude, it's not real. You know what I mean? They just want money. In the last hundred years, it's melted more than it has in the last 20 million years. My dumb mind can't even fathom what that means. It's a big deal, man, it's a big deal. New York just flooded, so the point of the camera is we're just showing people Hey, y'all watching me out there. It, it's way bigger than you and your power bill. Bro, it's the world, man. It's all we got. It's it. We, we can't go to Mars. Mars is shit. Again, we don't even know if your house qualifies yet. Knock on wood. I, I have a good feeling because it looks like your credit's decent. It looks like your house is well-maintained. Um, but we'll pull your usage from the grid. We'll know exactly how much power you use. So we're not giving you a false number. It's like, this is the real, this is what it would cost. This is it. If it makes sense, run it up. If it doesn't make sense, who cares? We're still friends. I don't care. I like you like Under Armour, bro. I love Under Armour. <laughs> yeah. What size of the uh, house is the meter on? Is that the... Uh, oh, it's random. Right Would you do me a favor? You have a dog or something? No, I don't have a dog. Um, I don't want to go in your backyard because that's your private space. Would you take my phone and take a picture of it? That's how we pull your usage. Yeah. yeah. The reason why I'm having him take the phone in the backyard is because, A, I don't want to go in his house. <laughs> I'm being lazy. But the biggest thing for me is if he's willing to go in his, the, through his house to take a picture, maybe see his wife, she's gonna ask what he's doing. He's accountable now, he's committed. He's, he said, yeah, I, I took the, like, bro, you took the picture. Why did you take the picture if you don't wanna sit? So the biggest thing for me when you're setting is anybody can go get 100 sets, uh, 10 sets a day, not 100. Anybody go get 10 sets. It doesn't mean anything unless they get installed. And that's the biggest thing I think we gotta get across to people is sets mean nothing without action and action is, panels getting on your roof we have to start hold, holding homeowners accountable because a our time is valuable but b is like we're, we're failing them by not by enabling them not to have action and a call to action if that makes sense so that's the biggest thing for me perfect yeah they want to they want to make sure it's that 243w so it's the updated one money so yeah we'll pull your usage off of this it'll tell us exactly how many kilowatts your house used in the last 12 months right that's all we care about what, what was your last electric bill and i'll get out of here but i'm just curious so if you could go from that 150 to take that down to zero oh, 
would be nice, but I, like I said, I'm not interested. So and, and what was the biggest thing holding you back, just so that we know? We're doing some training with these guys right here. We well, actually. I'm, I'm trying to get out of debt, not go back into debt. So that's that's what, that's what I was saying. saying. There's zero no, debt with I'm, this. I'm, we I'm, we own it. We maintenance for you. I'm good. No. no You're all set. Even no, even if we could show you the new program. I appreciate it. I'm all right. All right. All right. Yeah, hey, I'm last last question for you. How do I get a beard like that? You grow it out for 20 years. All right. He said 20 years for the beard. We cover everything. All you do is you stop buying your bower from the utility company and you get it from the panels that we own that never go up for the next 20 years. So it's the new got brochure. I'll look it up. That's what we do is we build out a brochure for you. All I do, sir. Give me a brochure. All I do, sir, is just I take a picture of your meter. Um, I don't even know what my meter is. It's either on that side of the roof or that side of the roof. And then I would just build that report out for you. We're working with um, Adam right behind you. I meet with them at uh, 2.30 tomorrow. Uh -huh. It takes 15, 20 minutes just to show them what that looks like, answer any questions, and then leave that with you. Um, uh, we're, not, we're not the ones that submit it. We're the yeah. ones that just build that, no, I don't that want, brochure. No, I, just want, I want to look it up myself. I don't That's need what we do. No, no mail, no yep. mail or anything like that. Nope, we drop a paper copy off for you, put it in your email. All I need to do is just take a picture of that usage and then just ask you what your um, utility provider right, is. Now let's, uh, so we just draw a line down the middle of the paper and show you option A, option B. Choice is yours, up to you, but love to build, build that for you. We're meeting with Adam tomorrow at 2.30. Would you be around here maybe around 1.30 or 3.30? I'll come around. Which one would work better for us to pop back by? Uh, 15, 15, 20 minutes. 3.30. 3.30? Cool. And then the meter, what was your name too? Is it Ronald? Ron. Ronald or Donald? Ron. So the roof's looking good. The meter's looking good. I'm just going to get you the information, and it's up to you. Whether you guys right. do it or not, totally up to you. But um, the last thing I would need is just, uh, and it might be even right here. Is that your electric bill or no? Do you, uh, do you have it on your phone by chance? If you mind just pulling up, I'm not looking for anything other than just exactly how much energy this home uses. And then um, from there, we wanna build it a little bit over 100% so that you're always making sure that you're producing enough power and that it's locked in, fixed rate. And there's nothing I can obviously do with the bill except for pay it. I'm probably not gonna do that yet for you. <laughs> that, that's it right there. That, that would be it right there, just the, the usage month to month. All right, all right, and then 3.30 tomorrow i'm excited to help you out i appreciate you taking the time no problem yep no problem. all right love that you guys got to hang out with us today you guys saw how the ninos ride guys we roll we are the greatest sales force on planet earth we set a ton of appointments we close deals it feels good and as always if you guys want to be a part of the greatest sales force on planet earth all you guys got to do is click that link in the bio and we'll see you guys on the next blitz season 18 is going to be incredible hey, and i cannot hey, wait hey, to see how many hey, deals hey, we close hey. and it's going to feel so good being at the top of the leaderboard all right guys let's go ninos on me ninos on three one two three ninos, ninos.